on a world beset by war, strife and zombies. A single squad of stormtroopers abandons their post and leaves the Empire. Surrounded on all sides by the Rebel Alliance, by the GDI, by Nod and by some weird books from the Empire of Starship Troopers. They do their best to create a new colony and survive. This is their tale. Greetings, models. I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome back to RimWorld, the modded version. I am slowly turning the map. Can you see anything different? Yes, you probably can. There, first of all, there's a lot more bloody things on the map. So, I am running multiple mods right now. We are looking at um, Tiberium Rim. With factions, you can see the GDI and the Nod there. We are running Star Wars, you'll probably be able to see Scum and Villainy. You'll be able to see Galactic Empire and the Rebels. We're also running Zombieland, you'll see those instantly on the map. And we're also running Starship Troopers. So there'll be bloody warrior books. There are a lot of things running on the map and we're going to go get right into it. So first of all, I want to start somewhere near Galactic Empire. Because my squad is made up of troops from their base. They're not, they're wearing the army equipment, but yes. We're going in with gear, we're going in with equipment, and hopefully we can survive for quite a period of time. Let's... this is a big one. Let's start over here next to you and hope we don't die instantly. But yeah, here we go, the Temperate Forest. Also, I'm using Prepare Carefully, we've got to load the preset. There we go. And let's get this party started. So I have tested the map, it is difficult, I didn't change that detail. So yeah, our team is arriving. And we will not have three days before things happen. So first of all, we actually just need to grab all the gear. So yeah, we have lots of armor, lots of equipment, lots of weapon rep. And we are going to get heavily attacked by things very, very soon. So we need to get all the gear in as quickly as possible. Or an ATST main blaster can. I, ah, I was testing without getting rid of it. So certain things you'll see there are no use for. I'm just going to sell them off. It's going to be a bit of a because obviously I'm selling them off but yes a few things we're gonna need to do and a few things we're gonna very very quickly need to do because we're gonna have a few issues pretty quickly so first of all let's get our base sorted let's see where are we right now okay so let's actually have an entrance built up over here so we did start off with some turrets because it's gonna get pretty bad pretty quick um, okay, let's do that. Okay, how was that? Seven, of course. Oh, okay, that was seven, of course. Good, so, yeah. We're going to start building this up and actually get things running. How wide was it in the centre? Eleven, excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, two, three, four, five, six. With one there and one there. So, yeah, we just start building up pretty quickly. Because, like I say, we are going to be under major attack very, very soon. This is not an easy selection of mods, especially the Tiberian ones. My god. So we build up as much as we can, start expanding, start growing. We have Speedle, Beautimus, Valkyrie, Knight, Shad. For some unknown reason, you can't do the full name unless you go into the game. Bit weird, but there you go. So you're now Nightshade. I hope you're not E-Nightshade, you're Nightshade. There we go. You're now Frenetic. You are now Fireborn. Maybe you will last longer than you did in the uh, live stream. There we go. And Shogun. So we'll be grabbing gear. Actually, while we're at it, we're going to go grab the gear. So, Speedle. Oh, he's vomiting. So, yeah. Okay, grab the gear. Grab the gear. Grab the gear. Grab the gear. Ah, vomiting. Grab the gear. Grab the helmet. So yeah, everyone's going to go grab some equipment, grab some weapons, we'll see how well things go. But either way, we have two days till the zombies come, the Rebel Alliance is at war with the Galactic Empire, and we need to sort this stuff out. There we go. As you can see, armor and equipment is being worn. Shogun, go wear that. So Butte, go pick up a carbine. Valk, go pick up a carbine. Shogun, go pick up a... Where's the heavier blasters? My equipment's everywhere. It's the problem. Where's the heavier blasters? Oh, please don't tell me I got rid of them accidentally. 
Oh, there's a heavy blaster. Okay, good. Shogun pick up that. And Speed will pick up that. There we go. So you can see we're arming up the troops. Nightshade pick up a regular blaster. Frantic pick up a regular blaster. And Fire One pick up a regular blaster. So all of our guys are armed. We were lovely trusting stormtroopers, but we have retreated from our mission and we are trying to build up our own colony and base. We have escaped. We will keep on going. We'll keep on growing. Hopefully we'll do good, but we'll see. So obviously right now we are just getting things sorted. I haven't played the game in a bit of a while, so apologies if it looks like I'm doing bad, because I probably am. But yeah, as you can see, we're building up. We should do that. Do that. But yeah, we have a lot of mods installed. They will be listed down below. How wide is that? 13? Do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's perfect. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that's perfect. So what we're going to do here is... Structure. We need to do production. So we're going to have two butcher's tables. And make this where our current butchering storage area is. That way we can slowly start expanding and make the base okay. It's going to take a while, but you know. So you only need one set of doors, because zombies will break down doors. I will be updating that for them to make them a lot more vicious as time goes by. But for now, yeah, they just break down doors. There we go. Okay, going to make this a zone here. Stockpile zone. And this will be storage only for corpses. There we go. We don't want stranger colonists. Yeah, we don't want corpses. Oh, we have a husky called Blue. Hopefully it won't die. But yeah, as you can see, we're bringing in the gear. We're hoping for the best. It's a decent refit. But yeah, we're slowly expanding and growing. It's going to take a while to get to where we need to go. Like, this is just a temporary storage, but there you are. But hopefully it works. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, that's the same. That's fine, I guess. There we go. Excellent. So, yes. We're building, expanding and growing, and hopefully... We have something going well, but we also do need to get some food growing as well. Right now the food doesn't really matter, because we have plenty of animals we can hunt down. In fact, everyone's going to be changing, so that they are actually all on, you know, if enemies attack them, they will shoot. Otherwise we may have a lot of problems. There we go. Beetles done, buttes. That way, if someone gets attacked, they'll open fire and hopefully end up shooting each other because I know how stormtroopers fire. It's not going to go well. As you can see, I'm wearing my squad officer uniform. Oh, oh that sound. Good, 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 good. Perfect. So you get as much food and supplies as possible for this base to be built up. Although I think I have too many hunters right now. So everyone starts it off with the boy soldier trait. Or child soldier. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, as you can see, we are building, we are expanding. Some of our guys are wearing... What are they again? Tiberian protection masks. We only have three of those. We also need some improvised turrets around the side. These are the ground freezing boxes because we'll be using them to destroy Tiberium so it doesn't infest and destroy the world. Yeah, the game gets a bit vicious and deathy. So, let's see. We're going to have everyone on construct, everyone on hunt. And also, we're going to actually have everyone on plank cut as well while we're at it. Yeah, hopefully we can cut and plant cut. So yeah, we don't need too much hunting right now. In reality, we need the base done more than anything. But again, we just need to get stuff sorted and ready. And as you can see, the base is growing. Okay, structure. Let's carry on. 
So that'd be one, two, that'd be there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eesh. Oh, let's carry on. So let's have uh, furniture plus furniture. Let's have some joy. Let's get a poker table in here. Yeah, we have poker tables. That's another thing I've added. Uh, let's have a chess table next to them. Okay, let's have a poker table, furniture. So building up a base. There we go. So we're going to have a little bit of thing they can play with here. Maybe we'll leave it as it is. We'll see. The base is going up. We also want to get some bedrooms in very, very soon. In fact, let's actually have a look at furniture. How many big tables do we need here? We have two here. That gives us a bedroom of 16. Not a bedroom, a dining room of 16. Perfect. As you can see, we're building up this room, building up this base, and we've got a bit of time to do it. Not too much time, to be fair, but a bit of time. But yeah, as you can see, the base is going strongly with our seven-man team. If you would be named, by the way, please, please, please tell me. The beginning of the game is, of course, going to be a little bit slow. One there. One there. If we get some defences around the front, we should hopefully not have too many issues of, obviously, people trying to get in. Zombie-wise. You also have the um, hospitality mod running, which means people try and join us by being friendly with us. But again, we'll have to see. We might just cancel that for now, actually. Maybe we don't need to make it fully whole room, but we'll see, we'll see. As you can see, the whole base is going up as we speak, so it's going to take a bit of a while. We don't have any beds for these people, but again, yeah. You might have to put down some temporary beds. Why we'll actually put down a bedroom setting? Who knows? Hmm. We actually have a steam geyser there. I didn't even notice that. That's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll be able to alter the rooms for that. That's fine. We have poker just here. No steel. We don't have enough wood. But yeah, we also need to put down, we don't have those actually equipped or anything yet, that's fine. That's going to be a bit of an issue, but we can deal with that. Power conduit. Oh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, they're too close to the wall. Oh, an install. Install here. Being still here. But yeah, we're building, we're growing. We have lights. We don't actually do have a wall here, let's say. That'll be fine. We install. Of course, over here is now a problem. It will no longer be matching. Yeah. Well, for now, we can just do this and just leave as it is. We can deal with that later. But again, as you can see, the base is going up and running. So hopefully we'll be doing okay. This will be the poker room. There. So yeah, we're building up everything. Obviously we don't have beds, I'll just sleep on the floor for now. But the, the sacrifice stuff we made for the greater good. The greater good. As you can see, I'm over here, um, stealing food. So as you can see, everything's going fine. 
Then we can just sort of seal this area off here, seal this area off here to make it self-sufficient. Then we obviously have this bit here. So obviously I'm going to destroy the walls as and when I need to to keep on expanding. That way I do actually have a fortified area. Of course, anyone who's attacked the other side will have to have defences running along it, but for now we just need to get this area up and running. Our guys have no technology, we escaped with nothing. Which is going to be a problem for us, but we'll hopefully make do. Nightshade, what are you doing? Why are you just relaxing? Are we out of plank cutting? Okay, let's do that. There we go. So we're going to have this, bills, add bill, butcher creatures, forever. And this is going to be add bill, cook simple meals, forever. Okay, work. Let's look at priorities. Our best chef will be Nightshade, well done. And our second best chef will be Butte. Apparently? He's on minor. Okay. We are people who are asleep for now. It's okay. We should be getting towards a good period right now. Obviously, we need some more wood. We need some more trees cut down. We need some farms set up, but they're too close to where we are currently. Growing areas. Oof. Let's do zones over here, actually. Let's do a... Let's do a 9 by 9 and 9 by 9 here. <sighs> Cancel. Delete. Okay. Do a 9 by 9 here. A 9 by 9 here. Okay, this is going to be potatoes. This is going to be daily corn. So there we go. We have defences now. They are basically up and running. We just need power for them. But the base is now vaguely okay. We have chairs going up for the tables. We have externals. We can actually put defences on it. So we're getting there. We're getting there. How far along is this? So my turn is one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Three, seven, eight. Hmm. I can do something with these rooms, I guess. They need to be six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. The five wide. One, two. Okay. What can I do with these? Anyway, just here we have bedrooms, sod it. So structures, let's go with basic beds. There we go. But it fits in perfectly. Okay, good. So we have beds. Well, bedrooms anyway. Which means we can now start actually getting our people to live there, which is a bit of a good step up from not living anywhere. As you can see, everyone gets a small bed. They'll of course be expanding the bedrooms at some point, but not right now. Who the hell cares? And as you can see... So we're getting feature creep going on here, by a lot. We still have a day and 16 hours until zombies arrive, which is going to be a problem. Okay, we're cooking the meat, storing the meat. Zombies going to be a major issue in a second. So zombies, for those who don't know, are going to sweep the map from the edges every night, which is going to be a bit of an issue. So I've got them currently turned off so they won't attack animals, but I will turn that on. The reason I've got that turned off so they won't attack animals is because the last time I had them on attacking animals, they killed everything on the map and then it all exploded because of boomerlopes. So yeah, I've learnt my lesson. I've heavily learnt my lesson. But yeah, as you can see, the base is up and running. 
We have cooking going on. We have production getting ready. We have a bit of murder going on here and now. It's fine. We kind of want them to get murdered. But yeah, this is this is going okay. Speedle's going for a walk. Why? What is your job, Speedle? Cook, you're not good at constructing. Let's give you priority one at growing then. Go on, Speedle, go start growing something. Do I not have potatoes? Okay, there we go. He's cutting the grass. He'll start hopefully growing some potatoes. So Nightshade and Beauty are going to be our main chef team. We have hunters everywhere. Hopefully that will solve our food issue. But again, we're getting there. Because zombies won't attack the walls, but they will attack the front line. So, yeah. Hmm. Wind turbine. Okay, let's get a solar panel. Where did I put it, though? That's the question. Hmm, we've got them over here. The zombies will attack them, but raiders will. Just do that. Fireborn. Oh, you're not assigned to constructing. Okay. Butte. Go, prioritise that. Okay, so we need to put down some batteries. Maybe these can be battery rooms. Power? We could have some fuel generators too. The batteries are that big. So if I go that way. Yeah, we could have some batteries in here. Don't need all of them just yet, but we can get some batteries in here. Excellent! Yeah, that'd be perfect. Run it along. If we're along the walls, it'd be dangerous. But as you can see, the base is starting to get vaguely okay. I don't know, at least the wrong thing. But again, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Excellent! So the base is slowly building, progressing. I have not done this planned out whatsoever, so this is going to look absolutely hideous. They aren't very accurate, are they? Typical, typical stormtroopers. So T21 blaster rifle is basically like a long-range gun. I don't know too much about the actual weaponry themselves, unfortunately. I probably should. But yeah, the DLT-19 is much better. We obviously have a carbine. But again, yeah, we have... The majority of our weaponry is going to be the T-21s. I think they would have left them outside to suffer. Good. So let's see, we have that there. And then we'll have that... Here. There we go. The defences are going up. And hopefully that means we'll be doing quite well. But yeah, we're down to one day left until the zombie horde attacks. So let's work. Okay, everyone's on plank cuts. Okay, everyone is now off hunt for now. I can't wait my base to be built before we actually get attacked. You know? And sorry, I was going to put their wiring in the walls. I always do. Maybe stupid, but that's what I do. Do that. Then Butte can priority battery. This stuff needs to be cleared out. It's in the way. There we go. One day, nine hours. We're running out of time, guys. Come on. Get a battery up and running. Oh, we have a battery up and running. 
But yeah, we also kind of need them to actually continue finishing the base, guys. Come on. So you are going to be priority. Let's see, who's our best plant cutter? No one. Shogun, go do it. Furniture, go do that as well. Hopefully they'll cut down all the trees. We'll be able to get some building finished off because we are low on wood. And then we'll have to see because we have one day, four hours. So you're going to go do that. Come on. Vertic, you've got to go build that. Oh, need materials. Do we have a bed? No. But don't worry though, we'll eventually have a bed. Okay, so power is... Hmm. Not done, we actually have problems left. Come on, build it up, build it up, build it up. So when the zombies hit, we're actually going to be in major, major problems here. Come on. Get that power conduit done. There we go. You getting power yet? No, of course we're not. Fernetic, finish that off. There we go. That'd be gap there, then two, gap two, yeah, okay. Gap, walkway, gap, one, two, three, there. For now, anyway, I can easily move them. There'll be seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, walkway. Wait, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm an Egypt and can't count. Excellent, I love it when I can't count. Well, yeah, the base is going operational. We have defences. These are powered, we're not really getting much power back after them because this isn't done. Because it's not. I clicked on the light, of course I did. But yeah, we're actually getting the walls up and running, but zombies will be here in tomorrow night. This is a problem. Okay, so. Nighttime, of course, depowers our weaponry. Visitors. A group from the Empire visiting the colony. Text makes an extended uh, declaration. We have the Empire's North Wide Settlement. Colonies in my country perish over 100 silver. You can tell us to use our land. Uh, yearly income of 20% of the also when must be paid. Oh god, we're paying the taxes. So basically, they now live here. Oh, temporary. You can actually turn this into a guest house. They don't like it, but they will use it. So yeah, we're going to get to the point where we actually have Imperial Troopers just living in our base, using our stuff. See? So yeah, you can, hopefully, get them to join you, but they do, of course, make it upset. They get a little bit annoyed. Imperial Credits, Medicine, Components. So let's start off to Synth Jackets. Which of course I don't charge it for later. Buy the medicine. Can't buy anything else useful. Steel, simple helmet, stupid. Let's buy the helmet. New lovers, beautiful and nightshader lovers. Typical. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're vaguely okay. Just hanging out in our base, which is still being produced. We still need a lot more to go there, a lot more stuff to do, and zombies will be here in five hours. Oh, good, that's going to be fun. Anyway, you'll find out what happens in the next episode. I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Rimworld, the modded series. If you enjoyed like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you comment or apply, if you like the series will count for long, you've got a character, tell me. And of course, if you subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You know new videos and series come out at the end of the last battle. I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Need some more power. Bye-bye.